AIs for making frontends are all over the place, and today we will be using Figma Make to create a website. So here I am at my Figma account where I have enabled the Figma Make. All I have to do is you go to this button here, click it, and click Make. And in here you can describe what type of website you are trying to do. It will do its best to give you a fully working example of that website. So let's try it out. So please write a website that allows me to track my dog's walks. Let's see how it does. And there we go, now I have a working website that allows me to do what I asked for. So if I'm not happy with this result, I can go and click publish and it will give me a URL that I can access this site. So let's call this dog walk. Click publish. And there we go, now I have a new URL that I can click. And here is my website fully hosted at Figma. And this is very useful for uh, static websites that only shows content. But what if you need it to be a fully system that works scalably and also holds the data stored in the cloud? So that's when you can use it inside Backwrap. Let's set it up. Now that we have the final version that we want to run, the first step is to download the code to our machine. We can do that by going to the Code tab. And in here, clicking this button to download the code to our machine. Once it finishes, you can open it in your favorite ID. I'll be using Cursor for that. Here I am in Cursor, where I open the code that we just downloaded. And I'll ask it to build and run a distribution version on my machine just to ensure everything is working. So in here, I'm going to prompt Biz build and run locally a production version of this project in my dist folder. Hit enter. And the production version basically is the same code without all the breaking points and the bugging information, which makes it faster to run. It finished it, so let's try to open the URL it says it's running into my machine, which is localhost on port 4173. And there we go, the system is running on my machine, so we can now deploy it to Backfrap. I'm going to use the Backfrap MCP to deploy this code for me. You can of course do it manually, but the Backfrap MCP makes it so much easier. So if you're interested on in using the Backfrap MCP, we have a full series showing how to configure and use it, and of course it's always for free. So I'm going to ask it, please deploy this code to my dog walk app that already exists in my Backtrap account. There you go, we can now check if the files are in the correct places. So I'm going to go to my Backtrap website. Once in here, we need to go to Cloud Code, Functions and Web Hosting, and in here inside the public folder, you'll see my Assets folder that has all the files inside it and also my index.html file, which seems correct. We need now to set the web hosting so we can have a custom domain so we can hit this application. We need to go to App Settings, Server Settings, scroll down all the way to Web Hosting and Custom Domains, click Settings, and in here we need to enable the backfrap hosting, which will give you a subdomain name. Now, this name is just a suggestion. You need to use one that has not been used before. It might take some tries until you find one that works for you. Once you do, click Save, and you end up with this URL, in my case, dogwalk.b4a.app, that we can open into a new tab. So, dogwalk.b4a.app. And there you go, my app is now fully running in Backfrap. And I can use the Backfrap MCP or the AI agent inside Backfrap to customize this so I can host my data in my Backfrap app. 
So if you enjoyed this content, please leave a like on this video and consider subscribing to the channel so you never miss out on new content like this. We also have the Backfrap MCP Deep Dive series that shows how to fully explore the Backfrap MCP to build and run applications in Backfrap for you. See you soon. Bye-bye.